Thank you to Liquid IV and Babbel for sponsoring this video. More on them after the reaction. What is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We are here to continue Avatar The Last Airbender episode thrust today. Of course, if you did not catch our reactions to episode Uno Windows that is up here on the Chanel. Olivia, how is you? Uh, if you're asking how I am? Yeah, but oh, I God, knew it! I knew you were gonna do it. Friend. Do it! I knew you were gonna shove it in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's her answer to how she's doing. And uh, guys, uh, how have you been feeling about Avatar: The Last Airbender? Has it been living up to expectations? Leave a like on this video; that'd be very much appreciated. Bend, bend that subscribe, bend, subscribe button, button to get notified when our next reaction is up here on the channel. Thanks to Prepper for helping us set it down these highlights, and thanks to all of you who have been following us over at our Patreon page. Over there, you get the full length reaction watch along, where you sync up with your own copy of Avatar The Last Airbender, and of course, John and I cover several things exclusively with highlights and watch-alongs included. All right, babes, you ready to get into it? Yeah, I gotta put my glasses on. Let's do it. Hmm. Going back to the first episode, are we? No, I don't think we are. Just reminding us I think us this of is Bossing Say, Earth Kingdom. Maybe I'm making that up. <laughs> Everything is set. We strike tonight. Shouldn't we wait? That's Kevin from Supernatural. We don't need numbers. We have our anger. We have our grief. Anger? Hungry anger? And for the first time in a century, we have hope. That's right. This has got to be Earth Kingdom. I want right? you to meet someone willing to risk everything for our cause. Oh. She has lost too much. Hmm. I have no idea who this is. My mother and my brother in the siege of Bossing say. She works at the palace. She's willing to help us. <laughs> I am a genius. Fire Lord Ozai must die tonight! Oh, maybe it's maybe it's the Fire oh. Nation. <laughs> Evil dies tonight. It is Fire Nation. Look at all the fire. It's gotta be Fire Nation, right? Yeah, because this is the same location where they were in the first episode. What if they succeed in totally subverting the show's expectations? Over. <laughs> <laughs> show's over. <laughs> Are we going to watch them get slaughtered? I don't know. We expected that all decent Fire Nation citizens would have welcomed being freed from your tyranny. Don't you mean unity? Interesting, mm. seeing the civilians who are not for the cause. Have I not led us to the brink of bringing the entire world under one rule? Our rule. That's tyranny. <laughs> Dictatorship, honey. How many more lives will it take another century of loss and suffering? Do not speak to me of loss. Interesting to get more of Fire Lord Ozai mm -hmm. this early on. We didn't get this till what season two. two? And again, we in the Fire Nation have always prided ourselves on our resourcefulness. Traitor! Isn't that right, Azula? That's Azula? <gasps> no effing way! <laughs> but damn, we're getting Azula early too. Oh my god. Yes, I love this Queen. girl. Yes, father. I am so excited. I love Azula. I love this batshit crazy bitch. There is one out there who cannot be stopped. The one who will restore balance to the world. The one who has returned to us. Oh, dude. Yeah! Damn, this two piece, look how she's enjoying it. Oh my God. I love her. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe we get both of them so soon. Zuko has found the avatar. Your brother has done the impossible, just as I'd asked. Get in there, Azula. Jealousy, jealousy. He's smart. Make them compete. I already love this actress and her portrayal. I love the Fire Lord set that yeah. they brought to life. I am so excited we got them so early, honestly. I know, it's, so, it's surprising. <laughs> oh, Mashu. The water with arms, weight shift, wrist snap. Shape of water. The way they visually realize the water makes it feel like an entity. Like, oh, like there's a life to it. There is life to water. Basic bending forms are mostly just physical movement. When you get into the harder moves, like the water whip, you really need to reach inside and feel the energy flow. Giving lessons, are we? You don't even know what you're doing. The monks always told us to find a place where emotion meets spirit. A place deeper than thought. Tap into your feelings and gather energy from them. Tap into your feelings. Like anxiety, rage. Depression. Oh my gosh, she's doing it. Anxiety, rage. <laughs> Depression. She's got a blunt bed. Hang right away. Oh boy. 
That's okay. I bet it was my fault. I should never be a teacher. Monks always said I never listened. What a sweetheart. He is so... I think that's nice. what they said. I think that's what I never they listened. Said. <laughs> I never listened. It's time to go. We shouldn't stay in the same place for too long. <laughs> Uh, he's so cute! I liked her too. Yeah, she was cool. Of course, I have no idea what she saw in you. Hey, what's not to like? Their chemistry's better already. Yeah. Look! I think... I think it's another airbender! Uh... They're all dead. He's headed for that mountain. That's a marshoot! Papa! You see I love his charisma. I can alert my contacts. No! I told you! No one else can know of his existence. <laughs> he really brings Zuko to life. <laughs> there are Fire Nation forces everywhere. They're sure to find out. Which is why I suggest you allow me to contact a few trusted sources. Acting like he needs permission. Manipulator. Very good. I really enjoy the actors. Commander Dow's ship has arrived. Perfect timing to the Fire Nation. Is Zula gonna show up here? Nah, I feel like she probably show up in like a couple more episodes. I spoke to some of his crew. Word is, Jao failed his officer training program three times. Did I ask for your opinion? He wasn't giving an opinion. He was stating a fact. He was trying to help. This is so Zuko. <laughs> <laughs> he was only trying to help. Yeah. He was gossiping about a superior officer. An officer you don't like? That's beside the point. <laughs> so it's okay. There is an order to the way we do things here. We are Fire Nation, even out here. He's just trying his best. Omashu was carved out of a living mountain. It's one of the wonders of the Earth Kingdom. Of the world, actually. Ooh. Where's our cabbage? Incredible delivery system that winds through the whole city. The people there, the artists, scientists, builders. <gasps> scientists. People just waiting in line? Oh, man. What did I tell you before? <laughs> Oh my. They don't take kindly to outsiders in Amashu. What makes you think we're outsiders? <laughs> <laughs> no reason. Oh, is this? Wait. Is this the jet episode? We have a friend we need to see. We just could use a little help getting inside. It is. Sorry, it's out of out of the turnip sack. I'm sure you can make that look good too. This is jet. I don't, is it? I don't know. Amashu's one of the last Earth Kingdom strongholds. He is cute. <laughs> Firebenders haven't been able to take it yet. That's why they're so careful here. So how do you know we're not a threat? Just the feeling. I hope he's of age. <laughs> Hold there. State your business. Edit to market. Oh, it wasn't a great crop this month. <laughs> she told me I wasn't watering the turnips enough. Yeah, there was a reason I married her. <laughs> Irrigation, am I right? <gasps> <laughs> My brother-in-law would agree if he could speak. If he could speak. Struck mute at birth. <laughs> Just the other day, he made us laugh so hard. All right, that that's enough. Move along. This guy's not social. How beautiful. I like the different cultural influences they throw here. This feels more Middle Eastern. There he is. Look. Dang, oh. buddy. Ah! Oh, see, it no. they know what they were doing. They know exactly what they were the doing. The whole moment I've been waiting for. You're not an airbender. Of course I'm not. Oh, shit. Hey, we can't see. What's she supposed to... What? Now oh. see. Oh, great. Airbender. That's a waterbender. Waterbender. Two seconds in. Are you all right? Are you hurt, Dad? I'm... Oh, yeah. I remember this. I just landed. How was I supposed to know there'd be another bombing? You mean that wasn't an accident? Nothing the Fire Nation does is an accident. Their spies are everywhere in the city. Mm -hmm. Oh, so congratulations, guys. Good job. You're an airbender. Do you realize what this means? We finally have a way to take the fight to the enemy. You could drop bombs on them, rain down destruction. Air power is their weakness. You could take over the world. Pretty great, huh? Dad's the mechanist to the king of Omashu. He's responsible for maintaining the best parts of the city, like a delivery system. You've seen it, right? Play but a small role. Hey. Don't be so humble. If everyone in Omashu were as dedicated as you, this war would be over. The Fire Nation would be on their knees by now. If there's spies everywhere, should you talk like that? We have to go. Just promise me, you'll really stick it to the firebenders. Make them pay. Put their heads on spikes. <laughs> Stuff is incredible. I mean, look at this. Those are for cleaning under your toenails. It can get bloody. 
Ew. <laughs> Did you see the mechanism on that sorting machine? It's spring-powered, ingenious. I should have done that with our kayak racks back home. Oh, no. You cannot be a savior right now, Aang. It's really taking in the destruction that Fire Nation can cause. The oppression. He didn't get that when they slaughtered his entire people. I know, but this time he's witness to it. Oh. Being the Avatar isn't just about fighting. It's about helping people. If I'm going to save the world, I have to do it one person at a time. That's why I'm staying in Omashi. One person at a time. I was going to say. I want to help, and I think I can, because I'm the Avatar. <laughs> he's done the impossible. <laughs> He's done nothing. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> you got the best friends here, huh? Zuko may be banished, but he's out there exploring the world. If I were him, I wouldn't want to come back. She's got that cadence down. Technically, he is first in line to be Fire Lord. Not that he deserves to be. But now he has hope, and that's dangerous. What can you do about it? You're here. He's out there. There are always ways to get in the game. If you know which pieces to play. Actually, having the scene with her and her dad earlier shows that the dad pits them against each yeah. other. Illustrates it better here. You pretend like you don't care what's going on out there, but I know you hate the Fire Nation as much as I do. Man's resigned. I have a hunch about where the bombers might be gathering. It's high up on the mountain. Can't really reach there by myself, but with your airbending, it's just there. Acting so suspicious, Daddy. My sources say an airbender was spotted there. Omashu, enemy territory. But not to worry, there are ways to gain entry if you know the right people, which I do. Uncle Iroh and I will go. If anything happens, we won't be able to help you. The prince and I will be fine. We know what it means to be on our own. Oh, you have no idea. I know. <laughs> It's like no water residual on her like, face. There's right? nothing there. <laughs> Completely bounced off her. I don't remember this storyline. It's coming back to me slowly. Yep. He's a traitor. It's kind of odd, even if we didn't see the show, it's pretty obvious. I mean, he's talking in secret. <sighs> I feel like that's Jet. Greg, she only had one other love interest. Fire Nation spies. But that means the mechanist is a traitor. Kill him. Come on. This guy's taking law to his own hands. The mechanist has been working for the Fire Nation, building devices, selling secrets. Saga and Aang, they're in danger. I've got to warn them. They'll be fine. Doesn't look like he can turn his head. He's got like a Batman suit. I think he doesn't want his wig to fall off. Who are you? You can call me Jet. Oh! It's just messing with you. Yeah, it's just obvious. It's Jet the whole time. <laughs> Damn, Jet and Azula. It's one W for me today. Do you remember any of this? I feel like this happened much later in the, in the first season on the show, the animated show. I don't remember when it took place, but I remember the plot. But the way they were, they're adapting it is really well paced. Yeah. I think it incorporated now it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And I think their adaptation handling of placement is great. I wasn't sure you'd ever catch up. Big talk for someone who's unnumbered. <laughs> and he seems more suave, this jet. Good thing I brought friends then. Oopsie. <laughs> yeah, I much prefer jet here. <laughs> oh yeah, he's cool. Hey! Rufio. yo. I brought friends too. It's just like cutting the clothes. Awesome shooting there, long shot. Excellent. Mean swing, Pipsqueak. Hey, nice moves. And a feeling you knew how to handle yourself. Yeah, he's like cool and collected. Yeah. Cool attacking that flame head. Thanks, Pipsqueak. He's the dude. I'm Pipsqueak. It's great to have a waterbender on our side. Who are you people? We're the good guys. <laughs> Where's he taking him? Pipsqueak knows how to take out the garbage. Yeah, cut him up into pieces. He is like so charming in you there. You coming? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. There it, it is. is. so <laughs> charming here. I, I see I see it here. Whereas in the animation, I was like, what the hell? Katara, get it together, girl. No, he's more alluring. Install a bleed valve to regulate pressure. And you're saying you implemented this with water-based transportation. I had to make our ice dodging ships more maneuverable. Your father must be proud of you. About that. 
My daddy's gone. He's got more important things to worry about. He's a warrior. The world is filled with warriors. There are far too few great engineers. No, this is just a hobby. This is basic mechanical building. It's not always easy to find your path in life, but when you find it, you must embrace it. I feel like each episode has been getting better. I really am like yeah. loving this. <laughs> yeah, it's getting a lot better each episode. Finding its footing. I think he sometimes wishes I was more like him. I want him to see that we have to do everything we can to save the world. Because if not us, then who? Roll the avatar. <laughs> I love that Katara is just off doing her own thing. <laughs> I know. Learns about the scientist guy. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'm not going to warn them. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just going to hang out with Jet. and <laughs> little hook gang for a while. <laughs> That's not important. <laughs> I still don't understand what firebenders are doing in the Earth Kingdom city. As the war dragged on, King lost his nerve. The corruption sprang up all around him. So you just took it on yourselves to fight the firebenders? If not us, then who? Not us and who? That's the theme. That's the theme of the episode. Two sides of the same coin. We're orphans. Refugees. At least that's what we were. What are we now, Smellerby? Freedom fighters! Yeah! I'd follow you. I'd follow you anywhere, buddy. I don't know if he's of age. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> Blasting jelly. A few jars could blow half the neighborhood sky high. The firebenders weren't behind the explosion. Dun, dun, dun. My mother was a fighter in our family. When the Fire Nation came to our village, she held them off while my dad had been a well. They're doing a great job with Jet. I really yeah, like him here. Getting you emotionally invested in yeah. it. Yeah, I remember really disliking this plot. He seems like actually caring. Yeah. Instead of... <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's it. I mean, he's he's not so smug. Yeah, he's still confident, but yeah. in a way that's endearing. Yeah. It was quiet, and then my mom died. Dead parent club bonding. I think it's been affecting my bending. I don't know anything about bending. I do know you have to use everything inside you to help you fight. What do you remember when you think of your mother? The incineration. <laughs> <laughs> smell <laughs> i remember getting to work preparing breakfast and every day she would stop when the sun rose she would watch and smile oh that's so sweet remember that remember the sunrise he is so charming here telling her to fight with love honing on that energy she confided in him and not Aang. Hell yeah. Lessons we learn along the way. knocked over our dinner. We don't have to be afraid of our pain. True that. We just need to decide what we're going to do with it. Be a comedian. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, uh, Prolonged uh, eye contact. <laughs> kind of rooting for them. I'd be in your debt if you kept me informed on the progress of your mission. Particularly oh. as it relates to Prince Zuko. She's messaging that one guy. I will keep in mind your loyalty and cooperation when the time comes for such debts to be paid. Princess Azula. Good news? The best. You're the best around. You know the officer on Prince Zuko's crew? Uh oh. The one who slipped you the information about the Avatar? I'd like to speak to him, sir. Oh. Where's Katara? I haven't seen her all day. I was helping Sai with his airship model. Teo and I found where the bombers have been getting their explosives. We also found these, the ropes from the turnip car. <gasps> it was You're not gonna believe this. I know who's behind the bombings. What? No, Jet's not the bad guy. <laughs> Sai has done nothing but help us. Well, Jet's a con artist who lied to our faces. He didn't lie. He didn't tell the truth. Great debate. I saw Sai talking to the firebender. For all we know, Sai could be working with the king's men to root out spies. You're wrong. This is just like you, Katara. Uh-oh. Willing to believe anything as long as it helps you. This is a really well fleshed out debate. I'm so sick of you treating me like I'm a little girl. Then grow up. Ooh. Oh, no. Wow, the way they built to this scene was Where are you really going? clever. To prove you're a jerk. Well, I don't need proof for that. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to try one of them? Not right now. <laughs> no! Build up to it. <laughs> oh, it's Zuko. Oh, this is so well done. I just gotta forget the animated show because I don't remember any, a lot of how this is supposed to go. We just launched a big mission. Things might get a little hot for us around here. Mission? What mission? I mean, you were there when we confirmed the mechanist was a traitor. We need to take care of him. <laughs> 
What are you gonna do? I told you, I know how to take out the garbage. <laughs> oh no. I'm so sorry. Oh, it's fine. I'm so clumsy. Are you hurt? No, no, no. No harm done. Okay. No harm done. Oh no! How did you not notice that? This is our chance to burn out this city's diseased heart. Sokka was right. Got yeah, a fair point. You are the bad guy. Tara. Uh, now I'm like, I don't know. It makes sense. That's what the live action show has done. It's made us root for Jet. <laughs> Kill them all, Jet. Innocent people are gonna die, Jet. It's a That's sacrifice fine. that has to be made. <laughs> Look at him. That's the price of freedom. That's right, right. Jet. Freedom That's fight. Right. <laughs> Sarah, or the, uh, in the animated, we were like, this guy's obviously bad. Like, right, right from the beginning. Like, right. you seem, yeah. Shut up and gloat later. Right now, we need to stop Psy. Chet planted a bomb on him. What's the fastest way to the palace? I love that they were just sitting there staring at that map thing, like, mm, do, do, do. No. Oh, I'm so excited for this. This guy, again? <laughs> Get ready to say that plenty of times. <laughs> Go. This is my fight. Oh shit, they're gonna actually have a one-on-one -on -one fight now. Keep your fire bending in check, or you'll have the Earth Kingdom army to deal with. I don't need fire to defeat this boy. Ooh, I like the music. Oh, this is so cool. Ooh, go, little man. Nice. I'm vibing way more with the serious tone. Yeah, they've mm -hmm. made it work really well. Yeah. Nope, nope, you're revealing yourself. I don't think he's as concerned about revealing himself as Zuko is. <laughs> that was great camera work. <laughs> Man, Zuko, you should try punching more. Oh, this is a really great use of the environment around them. It's very Jackie Chan-esque. Saiten, so all routes lead to the palace. Oh, they are. Ready? One, two, three! Oh, I'd be so scared. There's no way. Stand and fight! For what? You're an enemy of the Fire Nation. And that's it? Why you've been hunting me for three years? How do you know it's been three years? I read your diary, bro. You have my notebook. <laughs> That's my personal property. <laughs> Say it. My, my cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> I really felt that the cabbage is locked. Oh no. Fight in the name of love. I love that they're like he could have ran and knocked that briefcase out of his hand by now. Your hands were trembling, son. I think he's got more arrows. <laughs> Just the one. We must leave now. You're so close. That's the theme, right? Always Oliver so close. Just like put something else on your face. Save yourself. What? Oh. Iroh, you're the best. Don't go back. Earth Bandars. Uh oh. <laughs> Woo. Oh, excited to watch the next one. I know. I'm really loving this show. <laughs> All right, Reject Nation, so today I want to share something with you that has been a wonderful addition to my health and fitness journey that I discovered during the holidays, and that is Liquid IV's Hydration Multiplier. I'm down to my very last packet, and I'm freaking out, but it's okay. I got more in the mail. Now, a lot of you have been so kind to notice how I've been working on my physical health. Thank you for all the compliments. And one thing I learned is that proper hydration is absolutely crucial, especially post-workout and pre-filming after post-workout. And my wife actually introduced me to this product, which is perfect because we not only care about quality, but a good taste and quality product. Whether it's after a sweaty workout or just after, you know, a good night out, you know what I'm saying? Efficient hydration and replenishing electrolytes is 
key. You just feel better and it tastes fantastic. I can't emphasize that enough. Another thing that I'm always on the lookout for too is products that have zero sugar or zero sugar added because that's one of my main dietary restrictions throughout the week. And they of course got products that fit that description that also taste good too. So yes, thank you so much. So Liquid IV's hydration multiplier is in summary is they are a non-GMO electrolyte drink that delivers hydration into your bloodstream faster and more efficient than water alone. Because sometimes drinking a whole gallon is not always efficient, but in fact, it can provide the same hydration as drinking two to three bottles of water. I'm also big on efficiency. Plus, it's packed with a lot of essential vitamins, and we know vitamins are good for the body. It's vegan, soy-free, gluten-free, and dairy-free. You can customize the water amount to your taste. Again, perfect for post-night recovery, traveling, or just having a big night out. You know what I mean? No, I won't. So, if you want to boost your support for the channel and boost your hydration game, go to liquidiv.com and use promo code REJECTS at checkout. That's liquidiv.com, promo code REJECTS. And remember, Liquid IV, it's not a real IV, but it sure feels like it. So stay hydrated, stay healthy, and let's keep crushing those health and fitness goals together in the year 2024. Hello there, esteemed viewer of The Real Rejects. I, Greg Alba, language connoisseur and worldly gentleman, am here to bestow upon you the secrets of Babbel. Babbel is an engaging language learning app designed for real-life conversations, offering quick 10-minute lessons tailored by linguistic experts to effectively teach you a new language. Its conversation-based approach, enhanced with speech recognition technology, makes Babbel worth trying for anyone looking to learn at their own pace, anytime, anywhere. My dear friends, in this age of monolingual Mundanity, 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 mundanity. Mundanity. Babel is our beacon of hope. Crafted by an army of over 150 language experts, their lessons are like linguistic caviar. Rich, refined, and oh so satisfying. Personal tale of triumph. I once whispered sweet nothings in Spanish, or for the layman, Espanol, to my wife, courtesy of Babel. Her reaction, well, I'll tell you, she was utterly bewitched. Greg, you silver-tongued devil. No paraphrase. She exclaimed such vocabulary as I basked in the glory of my perfect pronunciation. Because Babel isn't just about learning words. It's about embracing the art of conversation with podcasts, live classes, and a veritable smorgasbord of interactive lessons. I know the words I'm saying. And their speech recognition? It's like having a personal language butler. Ensuring every syllable is impeccably crisp. Now brace yourselves for an offer of monumental proportions. Here's a special limited, limited, time. limited time. Deal for our viewers and listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription. But again, only for our viewers at babbel.com slash rejects. 55% off at babbel.com slash rejects. Spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash rejects. Rules and restrictions. May apply. Join me, the Greg Albin, the adventure of language mastery at Babel. We shall not just learn no, nay, we shall conquer the world of communication. Or as they say in Spanish, comunicación. <laughs> We're done with this ad. <sighs> yeah, I think it's getting better every, every episode. episode. I think every episode, like the pacing is improving uh, by a lot. I, I really feel like this tone and pace is the way to keep the show who knows how the rest is going to progress uh but i i think like the development of the character is great what's up i think boomy is the legend of cora no 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 i know when boomy shows up boomy is the brother of that guy no i'm almost positive Greg. I, boomy's boomy's the old guy boomy is the brother for of if people haven't made it this to that episode yet right it's so bad at us <laughs> boomy's a thousand percent in, in the, I he's in don't first think he's he is. first season at avatar he's the old i remember i remember being like who's this creep no and now i'm thinking we have it wrong and we I mentioned boomy you, in the last episode i promise you it's it's it's, it's are it's, you sure because I, I don't want to look you. like an idiot because we were talking about boomy last episode and I i'm like i'm pretty sure boomy's the brother in the legend of Korra. no he's not no no but boomy's this episode boomy's i don't know if he's this I'm assuming he comes this. I'm season. assuming he. Yeah. I'm assuming he's here. I'm assuming right? he's like f in the next episode yeah. or the episode after, if they're by the trajectory. I don't remember the timeline of how things go, um, but I, I am finding myself like I'll get like earmark reminiscence of like, oh yeah, J Jet. Like you said, I was like, I was messing with you. It was like, yeah, Jet's supposed to show up. I don't think you're messing with me. You was, don't have to I, cover up your. Ignorance. I was messing. It was Jet. I it was think you just it was didn't so know. Obviously, Jet. It's from the, like you didn't from, know from the top. It was Jet. It's okay. You didn't know. That's from the fine. Top, I didn't know if the episode was going to reveal it. This episode. Uh huh. Sure, Greg. Sure, that's fine. It was obviously. I don't Jet. think you knew. If I don't know, I'll admit it. No, you won't. You won't look smart. No, I gave that up like <laughs> three months ago. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think everything I do is the first time watching us. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, no, no. It was obviously uh, Jet. And, he's um, so much better in here. It was obviously Jet when he said, be when he said, but I wasn't sure when, he, when they first picked him up, when you first said it, 
But when he said, beware of uh, Omashu, um, mm. of, that's when I was like, okay, that's Jet. Um, but yeah, I, I think, uh, I got, all I remember is like some feelings, but when it comes to specifics of what happens, it slowly comes back to me, but I think I'm able to divorce myself enough from the animated show and take divorce? it Divorce? You know, take it on, I'm taking its own merits and just accept what the, the show is. Like the first episode was really going, this is so much like the animated show. And yeah. then as it's been progressing, it's becoming, you still, you see some similarities, but honestly, I don't remember, I don't recall anything of, I remember the thing about the dad a little bit, uh, the scientist dad, and I remember her falling for Jet, but I don't remember the plot lines yeah. converging like that. Um, I don't know. I don't know if they did converge like that, honestly, because I could have swore that Jet in the animated series was like all in the forest. That's what I mean. It's uh, it, yeah. it's all kind of confusing yeah. and, and been so long at this point. Yeah. Uh, but the way at least it's executed here, I thought made for a great strong through line of showing Katara having her personal side quest, Jet having his personal side quest. With the, so of course when it comes to like no they're the bad guy they're the bad guy they're not going to believe each mm-hmm. other and they're going to have to prove each other right. You well, mean uh. uh uh, Sokka? Sokka. Sorry. You I said Jet, yeah. I get the names. <laughs> I constantly get everyone's names mixed up. Um, uh, Sokka and Katara. And 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 then how it even brings out a side of their personal obstacles they have to overcome within, the, within their own dynamic. Mm-hmm. So I thought the writing on that was really, really well done. And, uh, the you know, the fleshing out of Omashu as well, getting a little bit more of a Middle Eastern culture flair was, was great. There are parts to the fight with Zook. Uh, I like I like the cacophony of everything. It's just like become this bombastic uh, thing. But there are parts to the fight with uh, Zuko and Aang that I really enjoyed. And there are parts where I, I get a little nitpicky about because th- I know they have to work with. It's in an animated medium. It's much easier to sell you on this tall guy versus this little boy, you know. But here there's parts of it where it was... I, I could feel. I don't know. How to, I don't know how do I describe the feeling. Do you think little people can't beat tall people? No, that's not what I'm saying. I think that's what you're trying. You to You know at. what I'm trying to say. Because I could beat you up right now. I know. I'm saying you know, this is like a, a young adult versus a little boy, and the way the choreography was, it, you could feel the at a okay. Sometimes in fight scenes when they're like swinging for the head, like if we're fighting, they obviously swing like way above the head, and I felt like. That was the a lot of the fight, essentially, like metaphorically speaking, was that when it seemed like he could have easily gotten a few licks in there with his punches, but he kept going for like these kicks that gave the boy enough time to anticipate to allow the dodging in space. Again, it's nitpicking. I'm but you don't know it. what is in controlling the air. Maybe he blocked the foot. We didn't see it. Uh, the it slowed down a lot of the fight. Uh, <laughs> but he's all constantly out. controlling the air, Greg. He could have punched him. I don't. He's been a little jabbed to the face. He got him a could've, few could've, times. Could have used a bam, bam, bam. You're down. You're down, little man. No, he's take that little airbender. <laughs> and remember, he has to flick. be careful because he doesn't want to alert the Earth Kingdom. I know. He could have punched him instead of like, let me load up my roundhouse kick. <laughs> Let's kick hey, way above your be head. Aesthetically pleasing. Just, bam, bam, bam. <laughs> A little, little punch punch. Oh, you're so picky. I could also pull out a gun and shoot them, and they don't do they that They don't here. have those kind of weapons here. You can have the engineer make one. <laughs> sure, but he didn't have one on him. Okay, but the engineer, you could he have... He said, I don't need my... I, I'm going to use my, my kicks. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Face. <laughs> so I want to see him punch a little boy. <laughs> I think they're doing a brilliant job. But no, Moving I, I on did, from I did, that. I did love the episode, though. I did. Moving on from you wanting little I children to want... be beat up. Uh, for your entertainment. Uh, <laughs> we know what Greg wants to see next episode. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> I think they could have sold the believability of the fight a little bit more. I, I think it did do the fine job. I, I think you're very, being super nitpicky. I, I, I think, I I think some nitpicky. people are going to a thousand percent be like, come on, Greg. And I think and then there's going to be a very uh, a minority of people be like, I get what one, you're saying, Greg. Put a number one in the comments a, if a, you're on my side. It's going to be a tiny margin who will be like, Greg, I get where you're coming from, but most are Put not going to agree. On my side. I'm speaking to that little percentage right there. Little? You've got a problem, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think they do. Moving on from you wanting child abuse in the show. No, I'm saying it could have been more believable. Moving on. <laughs> 
that you're doing a great job interweaving the characters and the relationships. Yeah. Zuko and Aang, you get more of them fleshed out here. Iroh and Zuko, you get more fleshed out here. Katara and Sokka, you get more fleshed out here. Sure, yeah. Um, Dude, I'm so happy we got Azula so fast. Oh, yeah, that's right. Azula's here. And her friends, her two friends. Yeah. May and something, something. else. <laughs> May is the one who dated Zuko, yeah? Babes. You said we could spoil in the review. You said that I in did. an earlier episode. Was that in the video? Yes. Did I keep it in the video? I don't know if you did. I don't edit your videos. Well, sorry, guys, for spoiling. This stays in the video. <laughs> Cut out the part of me talking about them dating and just leave this. <laughs> okay. Let people try to decipher what we're discussing. <laughs> sure. <sighs> this is on you. Anyway, I really enjoy. I don't remember if I left it in the video. You, you can't say it here and then not correct yourself later. You can't say something to me and then be like, take sure backsies. Sure I can. No, you cannot. Well, you should watch the videos. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you watch the videos, you Not don't. even subscribed. And then, really, it's both of our faults. It's your fault? It's both of our it's faults. It's your fault. Let me show you how to kick a little kid. Right <laughs> anyway, can we please, his, can we please talk about if the If he aimed for his hips, <laughs> he would have gotten a great even point. He would have easily kicked the kid. <laughs> Aim for his feet, could have jumped. Dude. He was aiming above his head. <laughs> aim for the hips. Aang's got nowhere to go. <laughs> Can we please talk about all of the amazing things this show is doing? Because I really am enjoying watching this. Yeah. I don't feel forced at this point. I'm like, no. I don't enjoyable. feel forced at this point. <laughs> <laughs> this is enjoyable for me. Yeah, it's good. I really, I really like it. You See, like Azula? I, was right. I love Azula. I think the actress is great. I think she embodies yeah. the character of Azul very well. That that slight tweak of insanity just hiding in the back of there. <laughs> about to force its way through. I think the way they... Because uh, Azula comes in so much later in the yeah. show itself. And in the animated show. And I think the introduction in the show, the way the dad relays that information. Like, oh, I want you to feel competitive. Mm -hmm. I want I want you to get that that drive and that envy going or whatever the feeling would it's be. It's like the dad from Iron Claw. It is the dad from Iron Claw, yeah. And I, I think that's smart, which gives you more of an understanding uh, to the characters. Because, yeah, you got to find a, a, a right pitch. It's easy, to, it's easy to go over the top when you're... Mm -hmm. like. I think what they're doing a really good job at doing is knowing when to give a, a change to performance and knowing how to cast and direct the actors in a way where it still feels reminiscent enough of the animated counterpart, but also grounded enough for a real life adaptation. You know what I mean? And I, I think they do like I, I, everyone's casting is really good. And I think they found that with Azula because Azula is like a, you know, a, uh, what's, what's the word for it? Like devilish, you know, slightly unhinged. <laughs> yeah. And, and you got to make her a little bit more real instead yeah. of like full blown psychopath. Yeah. <laughs> Which you might evolve Which into. Might. Spoiler, uh, Greg. Jesus. I know. Yeah, I know. I know. I did it. God. Even talking about Bromi, Boomy, all the way of Legend of Korra, you've spoiled that show now. You know, if, if Zuko just did like this. Greg. A little like left hand, right hand. Bam. Could easily got him. Easily. Like this? Like a little bam. Hand, like, right a little, like a little bam at the same time. Little kid wouldn't know what to do. It is easily about. No, he's a little kid. He's going to duck. He's well, going to get come, even littler. You come at a diagonal angle. <laughs> little boy. Come here, little boy. Come a little, here, it's little a little boy. boy. <laughs> he's, got, he's got so much more reach on him. <laughs> so you've got longer reach than but, me. But the Jackie Chan elements I thought were really smart. Using the Using environment the, to the yeah, and the, so the cool. props and everything was smart. I think, that's more, I think that goes further back than Jackie Chan. No, Jackie Chan invented props. <laughs> he was a prop maker. <laughs> okay. That was his original profession. Sure. Yeah, and then Buster Keaton stole from him. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Charlie Chaplin? Yep. What's a Charlie Chaplin? Oh, my gosh. Do you not know fourth grade education? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, okay. And uh, it's a specific reference there. <laughs> and the, uh, the, 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 yeah, everything's, everything's cool here. 
I, you see, that with Jet, I, I remember feeling, I remembered not enjoying, not being charmed by him and just being like, come on, you're following him. Like, it felt cliche. I was annoyed by Katara. It, it, it was cliche, yeah. you know? I was and annoyed then, by Katara. And people were annoyed at us for being annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> I think they were annoyed at me. Avatar is perfect. I, know. I think they were annoyed at me. I'm pretty sure that's when people are like, "Oh my god, she hates everything." Uh, if, well, I like this. Well, they made. I think they really get you to they 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 tone down the cockiness and the smugness and make him more attractive. Yeah, he's, he comes across more sincere. Yeah. And even getting into his backstory and his motives, you you feel more compassion towards him. Even even when he's like, we got to take out the bad guys. He doesn't like have a mustache no. twirling turn all of a sudden. Yeah, uh, it still seems like it's the believable. same character. Yeah. yeah, it's believable. I think they did a really. I think they did a great job with Jet. I, I think that is an excellent, excellent portrayal. Yeah, and not, yeah. not just a portrayal, but an improvement upon the animated version. Yeah, in my opinion. that might be hot take here, but I personally preferred that as well. Like the fire, oh, I think fire is hot. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, we're done. Anyway, anyway uh, we, this we, is an unhinged ending. Yeah. Anyway, guys, <laughs> do you think that Zuko could have easily punched the boy? Let me hear your thoughts down below. You know, it's you know, it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible, but it's also possible he doesn't, Greg. Get over it. I'm just saying, you know, Move they're, they're probably going to have multiple fights. They got to, like, sell that shit. Move on. Okay, we'll hope he knocks his teeth out in the next episode, Greg. Just for you. Just, just for land your a couple, enjoyment. Land a couple of hits that are... A little... He was hitting him. Are you blind? He hit him plenty of times here. I'm just relying on the kicks was bothering me. Maybe he likes using his legs more. I get it. It's a fighting style. But Maybe he's worried about using his fists with the fire coming out. Oh, that's a lack of control. Well, he's a kid. He doesn't have control. All right, guys. Leave your thoughts down below. We'll talk to you soon. Adelia Chamberlain. Hey, Adelia. Adelia, my dear. I really feel like you want to write more in life. And... I can just see it happening for you where you're you're at the typewriter. Because that's where you were going. <laughs> yeah, this is man. Adelia is a, <laughs> is a hipster writer. <laughs> so you're at, while you are working on your novel and then every time you make one little error on your novel, you're like, I got to start from the complete beginning again because I have a typewriter. <laughs> and I understand uh, the process of it. So, because like writing on a typewriter makes you feel more alive, yeah. makes it feel more finite. More effort. And I understand that so much in your personal life, you kind of just want to get away from. So you kind of write like an alt version of yourself where you're like, you got a character there named Bedelia. Ah. But, but we know it's, a, it's really Adelia's fantasy and what she kind of wishes would happen with like the people in her personal yeah. life, what could become of them. And then what ends up happening as you're typing these pages starts to happen in real life. Whatever you create on paper starts to happen in reality. And then what do you end up typing in your last chapter? Obama becomes president yet again. again. You saved us. Wow. You saved us at least 40%. Of the audience here, real rejects will agree <laughs> you with saved that. Forty percent. You, you of saved <laughs> us, which may be a failing grade, but that's not how population works. Doesn't matter, Adelia. Your ability to write scripture to resurrect people into office yes. <laughs> is a really a gift because Obama's not dead. To <laughs> so pull the strings, to yes, to resurrect his political career, <laughs> yeah. of course. It is so. Amazing. And I really think you could have done it for other things. Maybe solve world hunger. Maybe st uh, solve, uh, you know, uh, anorexia. 
maybe solve solve like the economic struggles solve, of the world solve my bank account you know yeah. there's, there's a lot of things you could have solve solved the lending crisis and inflation now you got a tired old obama in <laughs> he the just office. wants to rest he so, just wants to put out his playlists and produce movies but i know that's going to piss off certain people that you want to piss off yeah cuz i know the way you think mm-hmm. what if what if you wrote those people just to be different people what do you mean just like write them a whole new personality. That oh, she way can do everyone that. Everyone would be happy. Adelia can do that. People, yeah. Adelia can do that. But I then, what would happen if she did that? Adelia would get bored. That's true. She'd have to mix That's it up. That's the worst consequence of this situation. You should possible. do Adelia's. You should write your dad to be a werewolf. Write oh. your mom to be a vampire. Oh. Write like a, a family member you don't like to be like a, a leprechaun, and no. then. You know, see what would happen if they all bit each other. And then, yeah. <laughs> and then what would they turn into? <laughs> and That's the like, possibilities. There's so much you could do with Delia. Don't limit yourself. Yeah. Don't limit yourself. It's your imagination. An endless possibilities. Gyration. I think we did. I think we gave you your best, <laughs> the best yeah. of all the shout outs <laughs> of, of every shout out for the past like several years. We did it. <laughs> Case closed. We're done.